Well, welcome everybody to the unit number one of statistics. In unit number one, we're going to be talking about introduction. We're going to be talking of some of the basics. So remember, these videos are just very short. They are in a nutshell what the unit is about. It's not intended to explain in depth everything. For going into in depth, what you need to do is really go through the slides, listen to my comments, look at all the examples, read all the things, and interact with the slides. So first, uh, let's look at some of the basics. So first of all, what is what is um, the statistics? So pretty much when we have statistics, we're looking at data, a lot of data in many ways, um, and how we classify that data and how we interpret that data, meaning that there's a lot of uh, numbers, there's a lot of things that we need to look at them and make sense of them. You know, so when we say, uh, not right now, we have a great example of like how many, how many patients of coronavirus we have in a certain place. That those are already statistics, and that lead us to, to make, some, to take some actions. Right. So, um, that is pretty much the definition of statistics. How are we gonna summarize that data? What are we gonna do with it? And um, First of all, we will be looking at business statistics. So we're going to be looking in management, in business. What what do we do with that information? So pretty much what we do in business is we look at those mountains of information and try to take actions with them. Sometimes we need them to, for example, have a better product. We look at how many people like this product, they don't like that product. What are the features they like about that product? And we build up statistics about that in order to change that product. Or if we need to sell it more, or we sold very little numbers of that product, we need to know why and what are the actions that we can do with numbers so that we can mitigate that problem. Here you can see some examples. You're going to see some examples. Then we're going to look at the five activities of statistics. In the five activities of statistics, we're looking at the process, right? So first of all, we need to think, uh, well, we have the, the five activities, uh, which are the design a plan for the data collection, exploring the data, modeling it, estimating an unknown, and the hypothesis testing. So what is the meaning of all this? First of all, design a plan for data collection. In a nutshell, we have to think what kind of information are we going to collect? Where are we going to collect it? How many numbers we need to collect? So we need to make a whole plan. We're going to interview people. Are we going to look at government statistics? What kind of data we're collecting? Where and how we're going to extract it? Right? The plan of, that's the plan of it. And then we have explored the data. Once we collect it, we, we looked at it we see what if we can make some sense out of it or not and uh, modeling the data which means once we analyze that data we say well I need in, in this in this data I need to look what is the average number of people choosing this option or what was the highest point of the dollar versus the Korean one what was the lowest point so we need some some models or calculations, right? This helps us to estimate an unknown. We we need to see whether we can reach a certain number or how we we're, we're going to try to predict, right? And finally, we need to do a hypothesis testing, which is we need to verify whether our assumptions are right or wrong. Meaning, for example, I. I have a magazine and then I say well if I put the advertising on the right side it we sell more than if we put the magazine the advertising on the left side so we do the calculations we do the analysis and then we say well we realize based on the numbers that we have that the right side is more effective so we're gonna test that so we look at the numbers and we see yes right is more important left is left is better Okay, so those are the five activities. Also, here we're going to be looking into 
data mining and big data. So um, currently, this is a talk of the town. The other day I was reading an article that says that nowadays the most important is knowing statistics because big data and data mining, we're, we're, we're getting amounts of data from anywhere. Any click, every click that you do, every time you browse a page, every time you log in the internet, every time you ask Google something that generates a lot of data and how are companies analyzing that data and using it to sell you products. So that is why the importance of statistics and of course now we call it data mining and big data. So we're going to be looking at business intelligence. I recommend that you look at the two videos that we have in there that really they can explain visually what, what I'm talking about. But anyways, again, this is about statistics. I don't want you to freak out and think like, oh, I don't, I'm very bad at math. This is not about math. It's a very simple calculation. So don't, 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 don't worry about that as long as you know how to do the ask and minus and averages, you're pretty fine. And we're gonna be using a lot of software, so don't worry about that. Now, let's look. Um, finally, in the definition of probability, in the definition of probability, we'll be looking, probability is uh, slightly different from statistics. A, they are linked in some certain way, but uh, in statistics, we, we have already the data and we make assumptions out of it and then in probability is we have some sort of data but we look at assumptions I think if I move this number this is going to move into certain direction so that is more of the probability probability there's always a very simple method that throughout every school you will listen is what is the probability that if I throw a dice it's gonna uh, it's gonna be number six is number five so based on the number of throws uh, we can do we can do an assumption out of it okay so anyways uh, here we have a great example of how target uh, uses probability to to see this is a very interesting case where they look at your purchases and they can guess whether you're pregnant. So that's a very interesting case. We can see how this probability is applied to business. So pretty much with that, that that covers my whole that covers my whole my whole unit number one in a nutshell is a very very quick one. First look at this video, then look at your slides, and I'll be talking in more detail about all these things. Okay, so. Uh, thanks a lot for listening, thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, don't forget to put them on the forum. I can address all your questions there, okay? Thank you so much. See you.